Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you the new QGIS plugin for LeafMap. If you ever, ever, uh, ever use LeafMap or iPyLeafDet, uh, you might be using some of the interactive tools that allow you to change, for example, uh, layer visualizations, uh, such as the ch changing the transparency or maybe have some kind of this free control that allows you to compare two different layers uh, side by side. And this is very useful, but I haven't found a good QGIS plugin that can do something very similar. And that's why I implemented this QGIS plugin uh, for LeafMap. And so I'm gonna show you how to use this, especially if you're trying to compare two different layers. This is uh, super hand, uh, handy and very easy to use. First, you just need to open QGIS. Uh, let me show you. I have installed QGIS, so I'm just going to go on the run QGIS. You can just open your own QGIS. And for this plugin, you don't need to install the uh, QGIS from Pipsy. You can use your own uh, QGIS installation. So just go to the uh, plugin menu and then manage uh, plugins. From there, you need to go to the settings to add the custom QGIS um, plugin repository. The link is in the video description below. So basically, you will need to follow the instruction here to add this uh, my custom QGIS plugin repository. And if the link here is also to repository. These are some of the new QGIS plugin they have implemented. I haven't announced all of this yet, but uh, today I'm just going to focus on uh, LeafMap. So once you uh, copy this URL, and then you can go to the uh, settings, click this add button, and then from here, just paste this URL and give a name. So I'm just going to give open GOS, then just click OK you will be able to add this custom repository. Once it's uh, added, then you can go to the all uh, category. From here, just search leaf map. And you will be able to find this one here. Then just click install plugin. So hopefully, uh, maybe in a week or two, uh, this plugin will be available in the official QGIS plugin repository. Then you don't have to add this custom one. But for now, it's not available yet because it takes time for the maintainers to review and approve it. And once you uh, have the plugin, you will see here these three buttons. Also in the top menu, you will find this leaf map menu. Uh, a couple of these here, you can click the about to see the information. You can go to the uh, GitHub repository uh, if needed. And there's also a update tracker. So this one is very handy. You can just click here to check the update. In the future, I'm gonna add a lot more uh, functionalities into the plugin so you can just click check update and then if it's available you will click this button here to download and install the updates okay and so next i'm going to show you how to use this uh, the layer transparency and also the, the layer swipe tool there's also the settings menu usually you don't have to write about this one so let me show you how to use that i'm going to add two layers for example i'm going to add uh, google maps and also google satellites so these are the two data layers right now and click this um, layer transparency button it will pull up this uh, panel here on the right so this one allows you to change the layer transparency for example i have the google satellite from the left side this is if it's zero maybe it means it's fully opaque and uh, zero percent transparency if you swipe this one to the right uh, on drag the slider it will change the transparency and you can certainly use double click here uh, to go to the uh, transparency here and then you can change this one but this is not um, real time, not dynamic, right? So you change one and then click OK. Uh, it's not very, very useful. So I, I would rather use this one here. They allow you to change this one interactively from here. So you don't have to open the um, properties menu just to change that. And similarly, I can change, for example, I can turn off the Google satellite. Then I only have this Google Maps. I can also change the transparency here. And like I said here, it's very easy to use. You can also just for example, the visible layer only or all the layers. Um, so if you if you just want to focus on one particular layer, uh, the visible layer, then you can check this one to just uh, uh, visible only. Okay, so this is how you can um, change this to just the uh, change the layer transparency. And the next one, this is the one that I really like is the swipe tool. So just click the second button here. And then on the right, you will see this layer swipe tool panel here. You need to choose the left layer and the right layer. So for example, the left, I'm going to use the Google satellite and the right, I'm going to use the Google map. You can also change the position. I'm going to use the vertical first. And after you click 
activate swipe you're going to see these two right now it's being changed to like two panels one on the left one on the, side, on the right and pretty cool right so it allows you to change the uh, swipe so this is very useful if you need to compare two data layers for example you can zoom a little bit more and then you can compare this side by side right now one on the left and one on the right if you want to click the swipe tool uh, you can maybe swipe here then the left and the right will be like um, switch but you need to deactivate it and activate again otherwise um, you might not the layer might not show up properly right so this is how you can change the swipe tool directly also you can click the button to change the percentage for example 50 percent 25 or 75 percent so by default it's going to be uh, 50 percent so this is how we can compare uh, two data layers let me deactivate it and this is not very interesting if you just compare the basement but the nice thing about this it works for all kind of um, geospatial data sets so i can drag for example to raster data set here on the map and for this one right i can compare here i have two these two data layer and this is uh max r open data covering uh, Libya so there was a flooding in 2023 you can clearly see right the, the the bridge was broken due to the flood and you can turn the layer on and off to compare the data layer but it's a lot more powerful if you can use the swipe tool so I'm going to use this one for example July 1st is the uh, left layer and then September 13 is the right layer after that you can just click the swipe so from here now i can use this one to basically just compare the data layer side by side uh, it's very very cool and this is what leaf map um, provide based on the ipi leaflet click control uh, plug-in but i haven't found a good one good keywords just plug in they can do the same thing so that's why i implement this one and i hope you find it useful also you can change this uh, swipe direction to horizontal right so i can change it to horizontal i can also swipe like this way uh, it's pretty neat right so you can use this to compare pretty much any data layer raster layer uh, raster layer uh, vector data layer whichever you prefer and once you're done you can just click this, this deactivate then you will go back to the original one so similarly i can turn on this uh, layer visibility right oops uh Interesting. Look, looks like it's back. I need, might need to refresh the layer. Uh, reset the layer. Okay. Yeah, this one I need to fix it. So hopefully after you uh, see this one tomorrow, uh, it will be uh, fixed so you can update to the latest version. Right now the layer is not reloaded because I removed the data layer. And you see this one? Yeah, this one works. Um, just the layer transparency panel I need to fix. And it should be fixed uh, once you watch the when you watch the video. Okay, so that's all I want to show you. Uh, it's a very short uh, tutorial, and uh, just follow uh, the updates. Uh, just follow the repo for more updates. There will be no more uh, features coming to this uh, new QGIS plugin. Okay, that's all. Okay, bye bye.